What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World and right now we're going to be talking about how you can get any 94 overall champion Campus Hero 2 player for free. We've gone over this several times. A lot of you guys that listen to me, you're going to be making a lot of money today. All right. Obviously, uh, virtual currency uh, money in that aspect. All right. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be utilizing all the cards that we've been making from sets inside of the actual Campus Heroes 2 and you're going to be getting a lot of free champions. All right. So number one, what we all predicted together, the 91s would be the next best move. Some of you guys went crazy and just bought up a bunch of 91s. You guys are going to be good. All right. For those of you guys that waited, it still doesn't matter. You'll still be able to use the same set, but there aren't any real 91 exclusive sets right now. Okay. So with this core set and the way that it's working, right, this would still be a gamble. Okay, but this is one of the easier ways. You can see I've already exhausted most of my stuff. You can see that my progress and some of the cards are already gone because I've been going crazy making cards because I'm preparing uh, for the actual drop. So this set right here, if you guys have certain cards that are readily available, you should probably take advantage of seeing if you could get 91s. Uh, the 90s are still valuable, obviously, because of zero chill, but you will see like a kind of a surge away from zero chill and into Campus Heroes 2 and NFL playoffs and NFL honors very soon. You will see that transition happening, okay? But this is very, very important. Utilizing these sets and the sets that are gonna be available later uh, when they drop Campus Heroes, because this video, uh, you may be watching this after the, uh, the promos drop or before. Either way, your focus is making 91s. Okay, not buying them, you're getting them for free by utilizing the cards you already have in your binder. So some of you guys are like, okay, gee, I gotta put together cards. I don't know what's going on. You know, I don't really understand what's happening. My veterans sometimes like, yo, gee, I'm running out of cards. All right, so whenever EA Sports does a live stream, they give you a Twitch drop, all right? I got mine today, all right? So it's, it's not that big of a deal um, with the way that it's working. I don't know what this Campus Heroes Champion Fantasy Pack is, um, where did this come from, actually? Let me go ahead and see what's happening right here. Hold on, what is this? Oh, yeah, because I bought it for the 88s. These are from the previous ones. These are not part two. All right, I'm about to say, like, yo, how did they already drop that? But, yeah, that, that's the actual part one. We're looking for part two later today. So, one of the ways that you can accumulate cards, okay, to make these free players is Twitch drops. Whenever EA is streaming, I don't really care what they're talking about. Sometimes I put it on in the background. It don't matter. You get Twitch drops, including uh, the MCS. You continue to get Twitch drops you know, for just watching and viewing, right? Definitely link your account. I do have a video here at G Myers World that'll explain to you guys how to go ahead and do that. Make sure you check that video out. Uh, search it inside of the search tab for G Myers World if it's necessary. Um, I will post the link for you guys to see how to link your accounts, um, you know, properly uh, to Twitch. And, you know, your EA account to your Twitch account and you'll get the drops. Now, sometimes, well, I'm gonna say most of the time, you get a bunch of trash cards like this, all right? Sometimes you get the 80, the 82s, the 86. Sometimes you get, you know, higher overalls. But that's one of the ways. Another way is to be an EA Play subscriber. Now, EA Play is very interesting because some of you guys said that you only got one pack. I ended up getting four. Yo, dude, it is what it is. I don't know how it works. I just get this so I could play Madden early. And then it makes you get like 10% off of any uh, pack that you buy in the store, like, you know, for the points. So that's why I keep it. So you can subscribe to it, you don't have to, whatever, but that's another way of getting free cards. The next way is winning Super Bowls, okay? So this is how I accumulate a lot of my stuff. If I'm not randomly buying something out of the store because you guys are like, yo, this pack is crazy, like, you know, the gold, that gold pack, whatever it was, uh, it was really nice. They gave, I made like a million coins off of it. If I'm not buying things like that, I'm only grinding the game and I'm getting a bunch of cards that... You know, sometimes they're, you know, pretty low overall, they're useless, whatever, but you can utilize them now in these particular ways to get yourself ready and geared up to make the cards that you actually want. And what I mean by that is when you go through all the programs, right, we know the 91s are like a real weird number. You know what I'm saying? The EA does that purposely so that they can control what you're actually able to do. You see what I'm saying? Because look, you can make 91s. If you look at what goes on in this, remember, it's any 91. But then over, you know, you got to get two of 88 to any 88 players and you got to get specific, you know, players like that. Obviously, monetarily wise, this wouldn't make sense to make this 91. It would just make more sense to just go ahead and gamble inside of the core set. But I'm just I'm just letting you know how EA rolls. You know what I'm saying? They'll just put stuff out and then not give you a lot of ways to get it. I always try to make sure that you understand what you're doing, because 
once you guys are able to figure it out, you'll go through everything yourself and be like, oh, yo, what about this, G? And then you might bring up something that can help the community by, you know, by just going ahead and, and dabbling on certain things. Over here, when you're trying to make these type of things, I would never tell you, make this card. There is no value of making a Team of the Week 91 and then putting it into a set because this is gonna cost you a lot more than just outright buying a 91, all right? So it's certain things like that that you have to make sure you understand. And that's why, like I said, we are focusing in on um, the particular core set right now and what they're gonna be dropping later on today. Uh, obviously, you can see that EA Sports is out to lunch, so that didn't load that time. Uh, typical behavior by EA Sports. You might have to actually back out if it doesn't load. Whenever you get the grayed out cards, just back out and go back in and it'll be there. Um, again, there's a lot of bugs that go on within the game. As long as it doesn't delay you too much, we don't rage as much as we used to, it is what it is, all right? So, again, you saw that when we opened up that uh, Twitch drop pack and it was garbage, what do you do with those cards? Like I said, on the bottom row here, you have a lot of opportunity to do a lot of different things with these cards. Remember, they haven't fixed um, the whole server to be able to sell playbooks and stuff like that yet um, as like a coin method. So when you go down here, um, you can't really do anything with it yet. We're waiting to see when they're going to update us with that. I don't know exactly what's going on with that situation, but you know, maybe they'll get to it soon. Probably they won't. It is EA Sports, all right? But you can start from the bottom over here, no Drake, and go all the way up to start building these elites. If you are trying to get rid of a lot of the items that are in your binder, okay? Because I have over 1,600 items. I don't have problems making the cards. You may have problems with it. And all I wanna do is make sure it's an easier process so you get as many of them as possible for free because a few of those campus heroes uh, are gonna be decent. That Derek Thomas is pretty good. I think that's Derek Thomas, right? It's, it's like so many different Derek's. Let me, you know what, actually we could check because I think um, he's already had a card, right? So we can just search by name and see, you know, if he's in here anywhere. Um, nope, that's not him there. Oh, Do we have a core set for him? What about Auction House? A catalog? Is there Derek? Okay, yeah, Derek Thomas. So that's him, I believe. All right, so his new card is going to be OP. They always make his cards wild. Always. It doesn't really matter. So I would definitely take a look at that. And then one of the other things that I want to suggest, right, before people start going crazy with it, um, the other set that had to do with the All Madden, right? Because there was a bunch of 91s with that. Those may be a little bit easier to make. Um, do they have a set for that? Uh, Team of the Week goes to All Madden. Um, these 91s, right? They take, what are they taking? It's five, any five 88 to 89 overall players. So this one is also something that could work out for you. But remember, I do believe that with the core elite ones, when you go to those sets, it may possibly be better odds. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. It could possibly be better odds here. Or actually, you know, because you're using one less card and you're taking the gamble, it's gonna be between those right now to see what we could do. If you could snipe 88s for cheap and then whatever makes the most sense to you. But again, I've already started making 91s. So this, this is what I've been doing. I've been exhausting this method. You can start doing it this way and utilizing your cards from the bottom to go up and upgrade them that way. Or you can just snipe for very, very cheap the cards that are required for the set. If it's not a 91, get a bunch of 88s, etc., etc. et cetera. I wanna thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you have a blessed day. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.